Now, let's talk about Cartesian coordinate system. This was systematized by a French mathematician, René Descartes. It is composed of two coplanar perpendicular lines. Now, the horizontal line is what we call the x-axis, and the vertical line is what we call the y-axis. So the x-axis moves left and right. The y-axis moves up and down. All the numbers to the right are positive. All the numbers to the left are negative. All the numbers up are positive. All the numbers down are negative. Now, every point on the Cartesian plane, they correspond an ordered pair of real numbers. So when you say ordered pair, it is a set of well-ordered real numbers called coordinates. So now, the Cartesian coordinate plane is divided into four quadrants. This is the quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. So now, let us identify the sign of the coordinates in each quadrant. So in quadrant 1, we have x comma y here. Okay. The sign of x is positive and the sign of y is positive. X moves to the right. All numbers to the right are all positive. Y moves up. All numbers up are positive. Now, the second quadrant, the sign of X is negative since X here moves to the left and Y is positive since Y moves up. All numbers up are positive. Next is the quadrant 3. In quadrant 3, the sign of X is negative and the sign of Y is negative. X moves to the left, which is negative. Y moves down, all numbers down are negative. Now, the quadrant 4, the sign of X is positive. X moves to the right, and Y is negative. Y moves down. Now, the first coordinate is also known as the abscissa, and the Y coordinate or the second coordinate is also known as the ordinate. Now, how are we going to plot this 2, 4, on Cartesian coordinate plane. So the first thing that you need to do is to find x coordinate in the Cartesian plane. So this is 2. Then 4 in the Cartesian plane. This is now the 4. So 2. This is 2. And this is 4. The point of intersection is the 2 and 4. So let's have the following examples. Plot the following points on the Cartesian coordinate plane. So let us start with letter A. So point O. So where is point O located on the Cartesian coordinate plane? So this is X and this is Y. So X is negative 4. So this is negative 4 and Y is positive 3. And this is positive 3. So negative 4, positive 3. Draw it up. Now this is our point O. Again, this is our point O. And point O is in quadrant 2. In quadrant 2, the sign of x is negative, the sign of y is positive. Now, next is 2, negative 4, the point E. 2, positive 2, negative 4. So, this is 2, negative 4, and this is our point E. Now, point E is in the fourth quadrant. Recall that the fourth quadrant has the sign positive and negative. So, positive, positive x, we have negative y. So that is in quadrant 4. Now, point R, 6, 1. 6x, y, 1. So this is now our point R. So point R is in quadrant 1. x is positive, y is positive. Next, point D. 0, negative 5. So 0, negative 5. So this is our point D. Now, negative 4, 0, that is N, negative 4, X, and Y is 0, so this is our point N. Next, point S, 5, 0. So this is 5, and Y is 0, so this is our point S. And last one, we have 0, 6. Suppose this is point T. Okay, 0, 6. So this is our point T. So that is how you're going to plot the points on Cartesian coordinate plane.
So let's have this example number two. State the coordinates for each point. Okay, so we have here point A. Point A, so again, this is X and this is Y. So the first coordinate is the X or the abscissa, and the second coordinate is the Y or the ordinate. So point A, so point A, the X is negative 4, Y is positive 6. So the ordered pair or the coordinates of point A is negative 4, 6. Now how about point B? So this is point B. Point B, X is 0, Y is 2. Next, point C. This is the point C. X is negative 5, Y is negative 5. Next, point D. This is point D. X is negative 6, Y is 0. Now, point E. This is point E. So the ordered pair or the coordinates of point E. So we have now 6, the X, and Y is 6. Now, point, point, for point F, so X is 4, so this is the X, and Y is negative 3. And last one, for point G, this is X is 0, Y is 0. So that's how you're going to identify or state the coordinates of each point on the partition coordinate plane. Thank you.